Hello everyone, Alex here in the city's Little Italy district. Just the bit west of the downtown here at College Street and uh, Shaw Street. Cloudy overcast day, but it's uh, not a bad day to go outside. Though it's a little chilly, I would say it is uh, 4 Celsius, which is somewhere in the 30s in Fahrenheit for those of you that are American. But it feels like minus one. So, yep, it is chilly, but it is not bad outside. And uh, still, it's just a nice day to go out. So, I thought I'd do that anyway. Yeah, so again, as I just mentioned, we're here in the Little Italy district. Well, technically, this neighborhood is called Palmerston, Little Italy. There's a gray squirrel there. Have a squirrel. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not uncommon to find uh, squirrels roam roaming around in this neighborhood. And uh, yes, we're walking south on the. Uh, this is the west side of uh, Shaw Street, and it's a one-way street going south. I think it's a two-way street when we hit, once we hit like either Dundas or Queen, I'm not too sure. I've never walked down the street before, but it is uh, one of many interesting uh, side streets here in the old city of Toronto. So this is, this is what you call the west end of the old city of Toronto. So, uh... And today is uh, the uh, the today is the tenth of February, twenty twenty three. So it's finally uh, finally the end of the week. Looking forward to what's going to be a very nice weekend. Constant sun, though the temperatures are going to be kind of the same as today. But uh, yeah, this is the first walking video I've done. I've, I've filmed today, and probably the only one. Before that, I actually filmed a quick subway ride to Union Station. I've been off camera, I just walked through the path underground, stopping by the Eaton Center, grabbing a lint chocolate uh, cold drink. I, still, I, I actually literally felt it's something cold even though it's, it's cold, it's, it's uh, cold outside, kind of, but not that bad. And then I took the uh, 94 bus to, well, to Ossington Station. I filmed the ride, but I don't know if I'm going to post that because these two teenagers, what, they're like, what, two, two, three years younger than me? They're talking a bit loud. Not, not extremely loud, but uh, about as loud as it can be. And look at this guy right there on this, uh, on the lawn of a semi-detached house. Look at, he's just, has his back turned to me and he's got like some white, wider spots on it. Doesn't even want to look at the camera. He's just, he's just standing still. <laughs> What are you, a statue? Come on. As I mentioned before, we have the most population of black squirrels in the world, actually. They're pretty uncommon in the United States. Well, actually, maybe not in Michigan, but uh, in Ontario, we have, a, we have like millions and millions of them. Almost every squirrel I see is black. And I prefer seeing black squirrels than, uh, than the, the typical gray ones that maybe y'all are familiar with if you're not from Ontario. A lot of uh, old houses here. Look, even this reminds me of like typical middle class neighborhoods you see in like where, I, where I'm from in York, East York, Scarborough. But for the most part, a lot of these homes here date back to let's say the early... Uh, 20th century and some of the and I think most of the houses here are detached to each other Ooh, Vermont isn't that in like what New England nice green license plate there it's probably the either the first or second time I've seen somebody from Vermont over here normally you find a lot of Vermont plates in uh, Quebec I like the contrast of the turquoise uh, color on the house on the left and on the right. And even these brick houses, they, they really do remind me of like the middle class neighborhoods. This is definitely like Scarborough vibes for sure. Kind of almost, kind of almost looks like those townhouses you would see at Eglinton and Danforth Road. Harrison Street. And look, there's a house going, uh, going through a rebuild. Everybody's out of school today because it's after three, I believe. 
Yeah, it's uh, pretty much the start of rush hour here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. But what a very nice quiet street. Been very, I've been a lot motivated to uh, film walking videos on the residential streets and in the neighborhoods. In fact, I think I might do the annex uh, when the weather gets much warmer. And I have reading week coming up. It's uh, the week after the, the, the next one. So that's like after the, uh, the family day long weekend. So maybe, unless my dad, we can go to Cambridge, which is a beautiful city located right next to Kitchener and Waterloo. Hopefully I can get out there. And me and my cousin Emily are going to try and plan something. Hopefully uh, she's, she can come down to uh, Toronto. Because as you guys know, uh, she lives 45 minutes east of here in a town called Newcastle. Which is still in the GTA, but in the very, very outer regions of the GTA anyway. Guys right, so are coming up to Dundas Street West. So now I think we're in the Bellwoods District. Or it's the Bellwoods neighborhood. One of them. And that being because the Trinity Bellwoods Park is just to the east of here. I think it's a block or two east. Yep, there's the park right there. But yeah, I think it's it's ninety nine percent sure. Me and Emily gonna get together and uh, do a video because I haven't done a, I haven't got, I haven't gotten her in a walking video uh, since like September, and she's like, she's like like along with her brother Andrew is also my cousin. They have like appeared in like what one or two videos together, but Emily, well, I would say like two, three, I don't know. But we, I need to get I need to get more of her in there because you know Emily, if you're watching this, you know you're amazing and I love you and. Uh, Definitely want to have you in one of mine very soon. I know she has the uh, notification bell on. There's kids here. Let's just uh, point the camera away for a second here. She has the car. What's he doing? Every day you'd find like what? 30 squirrels in Trinity Bellwoods? So it's, it's definitely good for watching, but. For I mean, I don't really go to I don't really go to Trinity Bellwoods often, at all. Maybe I'll wait till the weather's warmer. Maybe I can do like what a squirrel viewing video, cause they are like my favorite wild animals to like look at. I got lots of them uh, right by my place, including this white one that lives on my street. But uh, she has not uh, been around in. Uh, <laughs> Probably since the storm, uh, the, the snowstorm streaks ago. Right, so anyway, now as I forgot to mention, uh, Shaw Street is now a uh, two-way street, both directions. And you got this interesting island, island right in the the median. So it's like a, it's like you're on a, uh, what's it, I think it's I think it's like I think it's like you're on Old Forestal Road. It's really nice. But uh, let's just walk a little uh, short distance on it. This might be a good uh, thumbnail opportunity here. I didn't even know Shaw Street had this. I did not even know that. Let's hope I don't stop. I hope I don't uh, step on any friggin' dog shit. Oh wow! Is that a hunt? That's an old uh, Buick. Wow. Elton McFall from Montreal. If you're watching this, I think you might like this. It looks a bit rusted up, but uh, uh, cool old classic car. Elton does not need any introduction. Whether you're subscribed to him or not doesn't matter. Yeah, look at these homes here. Look, looks like the the the, the window sills they've all been painted over. The doors as well. Yeah, it's definitely typically like I see a lot of like black paint over something, but the the black color is just so generic. They could have just left it the original stuff, but no, everybody likes to redo things. Every street you probably walk on, it's definitely like changed. For sure. <sighs> Must be a bird's nest somewhere.
Anyway, let's get out of here. I kind of wanted to get a good thumbnail. That's why I went to the uh, to the median. There's Argyle Street. I see some buses down there. That must be on the uh, the 63. In fact, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the uh, the 63 all the way home. And it's gonna be on the entire route as it ends just like shy of uh, where I live, which is a uh, which is a good uh, which is a good advantage because that way I don't have to take the freaking streetcar to University Avenue and just take the subway all the way. Taking the 63 will probably be even faster than doing that. It's only one route I gotta take home. So I'll do that and film a bus drive video, probably hopefully on a hybrid Nova. A lot of the hybrid Novas have moved to Wilson lately. There's the CN Towers, our first shot of it. Let's uh, zoom in for you guys. Yep, looking pretty damn nice. And what is this? This looks like it used to be a school here. It is. Artscape Young Place. Oh wait, they converted the school into a little uh, gallery here. Wow, I'm gonna have to check Google Street View and see what this looked like like 10 years ago because this is definitely new. But so this this 100% used to be a school. I don't know its name though, but... Oh, but you got another school there, I think. Yes, look, there's a public school, Given Shaw. I could stay on uh, this side, or I mean, I could cross over, but I don't know if I feel like doing that. In fact, while I was walking on the median, I would have had my opportunity to cross, but there's a guy just uh, walking on the other side of the street. I'm like, I'm like walking the same speed as him. <laughs> Elementary school days. That's the 60. No, that's the 60. That's the 63B. I, I need to take the 63A to get to. I uh, go to West. I think the B branch is a rush hour only service. Get back. It's a flag right here. Is that a Winnipeg Jets? It is. I don't know how I don't know how long I'm gonna be hanging around here. If I'm, I can always go in Trans Z and check uh, see where the when the next uh, hybrid LFS is coming, because I really want to take that up up home. I'm kind of excited that the uh, Wilson has hybrids now, but a bit sad that it's, uh, there's only six Orion Seven NGs left. Before the move, before the big change, I would see at least one, two, or three NG hybrids on the 63, and I'm kind of glad I got to film a ride on that last month. Okay, I gotta cross over here. This is Queen Street West. As we're now in the West Queen West district. And there is the brand new Cam H complex. What does Cam H stand for? It stands for the Center for Addiction and Mental Health. Of course, the original one is still at, I believe, College Street and Spadina. There's a squirrel running up a tree. Another one. Nah, I lost him. Shh, damn it. Or no, I did not. No. He's just uh, running too fast. Yeah, it's really good to see the squirrels are on, <laughs> squirrels are on about. <laughs> That's for sure. And now there's streetcar tracks here. That are only used to connect uh, between different lines. Uh, there's, there's a 501, for example, which is terminating at Dufferin Street because for God knows how long, they're still running buses between Long Branch and, uh, and Dufferin. A couple years ago, they were only running buses from uh, Long Branch, at least the western half of the line. When I say western half, I mean the halfway point is right at Young Street. And then five years ago, they were running buses the entire freaking line. 
I have been meaning to film a street car ride all the way out to Neville Park in the beaches. I'm going to wait till uh, spring to do that because it's a hella long ride. White Squirrel Way. I was looking that up on the map. What, was it named after the the, the, uh, the Trinity Bellwoods uh, unique white squirrel that got extinct? Well, there's still another one, but I uh, haven't, again, as I mentioned, haven't seen her seen her in a while. And it looks like we are coming to the end, so... I'm not sure if we're still in the, uh... in the Bellwoods district. But, uh... I don't think we are. We're near the Liberty Village neighborhood, which has been an ever-changing, uh neighborhood, especially for the youth, millennials, who are looking to start careers. Yeah, it's been f full of uh, new developments that have been popping up since the late 2000s. Oh, here's Adelaide Street. Why is this where, this is where the street actually begins? Right here. It goes all the way into the financial district. Look, there's a black and gray squirrel playing with each other. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Oh shit, there's mud right here. Don't want to step in that. Shank Street. Man, maybe I should have my gloves. I don't even have them on me. They're all—they're actually my winter jacket. Because for several days, it's going to be like above freezing. It's like a residence here. Uh, look, a brand new uh, apartment here. I don't know if it was right of you to uh, block the crosswalk, but EPA 10, but that's heading to St. Clair, so obviously I don't want that. Maybe what I'll do right now is I'll check Trans E and see when the next hybrid bus, Nova Hybrid, is coming. If it's like quite a long ways, I'll just film a quick walking video around the uh, Liberty Village neighborhoods where it's a really interesting, uh, charming look, a charming uh, neighborhood. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly cross over here and it looks like they've just, uh, whoa, they just redone the, they just repaved the street here. Wow. Did I not know that or did I just forgot? It looks so fresh. But uh, that's gonna be it, uh, kind of a, uh, never under 20 minute walking video, but mainly I was walking fast, but um, uh, Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching if you and uh, if you enjoyed um, leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already as always Stay tuned for more videos and check out my others as well, and I want you guys all to stay warm Happy Friday and have a great weekend wherever you may be in the world So I'm gonna take a little break here. Maybe give my camera a little rest Maybe I'll even go to the Starbucks and warm myself up, go on the internet, and do some shenanigans, and I'll see where, where, uh, where I'll go from there. So yeah, guys, take care, and uh, see you all next time. Bye-bye.